everyone. I just wanted to share a little show and tell video about all my Aboriginal crafts that I have here in Calgary. I kind of used to decorate my house and I guess a little bit about my culture and just some pieces about um, the Northwest Territories where I grew up and just how people dress, I guess, up there in the winter and kind of everyday life. I hope you like it. So these are just some of the items that I'll be talking about. So from the last slide, you could notice that there is a, a picture of what looks to be a sunset. It's actually a picture that was taken at 12 o'clock at night. So up north in the North Coast Territories, it is often referred to as the land of the midnight sun because in the summertime, there's almost 24 hours of daylight. So because there's 24 hours of daylight, at 2 a.m. it will look the same as 12 p.m., so lunchtime. Birds will be chirping all night long. The days are endless and there's no true darkness from May to July. The sun kind of does like a loop-de-loop -loop on the horizon. So this is just a little video of myself and my nephew kayaking around the lake. So as you can see, it's like 11.30 at night and he's about three years old here in the video. So he has no concept of time and thinks because it's daylight, he could still be up. So the video is just taken when we were camping on the beach. Hi. So the next item are my moccasins, which are traditionally made out of caribou and moose hide. I think the majority of the time moccasins are made out of moose hide. Um, you can tell a lot about someone's moccasins by the detailing of the beading work. Traditionally, you were able to tell which community a person was from, their status, and their history. Also, the evidence of trade by all of the details of their beading. So these are my nephew's little slippers and they are Donatello from the Ninja Turtles. The fur on moccasins are usually rabbit fur or beaver fur. So in this photo you could tell just how different the two beadwork is of the two flowers. The moccasins are made in Fort McPherson, Northwest Territories, and the card holder is made in Hay River, Northwest Territories. A lot of moccasins don't have the big beadwork on the back around the ankle, which is very unique and traditionally done in Fort McPherson. So again, this is just a card holder made out of moose hide and beadwork. Um, most people up north carry a card holder like this instead of like a metal or a plastic one like you see down south. So here are just some uh, earrings made out of caribou antlers. Uh, caribou will be hunted and then the antlers will be harvested and cut down, shaven down and dyed and then covered in a poly coat and then made into jewelry. The artists that made these are, um, she's from Hay River, Northwest Territories and she usually sells her jewelry at craft sales and stuff around different communities in the north. Here's just a video of me modeling what they look like on. She makes tons of different styles. These are just the ones I happened to have liked. So this next video is just my silver wrap ring of a wolf. Um, I received it at my Aboriginal grad when I graduated high school in the Yukon. Um, it is made by a Pacific Northwest Coast artist. Um, traditionally, jewelry was used in ceremonies to represent wealth and high standings in their communities. These next two slides are of a eagle and a frog. On the west coast of Canada, most Aboriginal communities um, follow a clan system and use animals to represent the different houses they are a part of. So next are muckaluks. 
which the term muckalak is used to describe any soft boot designed for cold weather. The difference between a muckalak and a moose hide moccasin is that moccasins were worn in the summer and muckalaks were worn in the winter. Again, you could tell where someone is from by the style of their shoe or their muckalak. You could tell what kind of animal fur was used, if it was caribou, moose, or seal. So these are my Steger muckalucks. As you can tell, there's different items added to the muckaluck, like the rubber bottoms and the canvas leg coverings. Uh, nowadays, it's just easier to use um, canvas instead of moose hide. It is just a newer style of muckaluck. So the next item are my sealskin mitts that were gifted from my great aunt. She made everyone in my family a pair of mitts for Christmas one year. The mitts are made out of seal skin, tanned and dyed moose hide, and sinew. The next slide are just my beaver fur mitts and my rabbit fur mitts. So the next item is a loom weave made by Carmen Mikulski. She's from Hay River Northwest Territories. In a loom weave, it's usually different kinds of yarns, cotton and wool, um, kind of braided and woven to make art. The last item is braided sweetgrass. Traditionally it's used for making baskets, uh, medicine, and smudging. It gives off a vanilla-like scent. Sweetgrass is considered a sacred plant and I was always told to keep it in your house. The next couple slides are just some photos of what sweetgrass looks like before it's dried and braided.